What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be discussing the reasons why you shouldn't lie on your resume. Now, the reason that somebody might lie on their resume is to make themselves look better to the employer so that they might hire them faster or get a job quicker. And it makes complete sense. I mean, on your resume, they aren't going to know your background. And so it's pretty easy to add a skill or add a job that may not have existed just to give yourself a better shot at getting a job. Now, there is a difference between embellishing and actually lying. Embellishing is, you know, just exaggerating the facts. Um, you know, you've had three years experience where you've only actually had one. Or you say you're advanced at Python where you're really actually only maybe intermediate at best. Now, before we start this, I just want to say I am not the morality police. OK, if you want to lie on your resume, that is up to you. I just want to talk through some of the potential issues that could come up if you actually do lie on your resume and how that could impact you in the long run. The very first reason for not lying on a resume is that during a job interview, they are going to ask about your previous jobs. And so you need to be able to speak really well towards those previous jobs. And if you can't, they can typically tell if you're lying. It's pretty easy to pick up on if somebody actually had experience and can really talk in depth into that job or if they really can only piece together a little bit at a time. Most of the time, it is pretty obvious. One example that I can give on this reason is I had somebody who came in and said they had three years experience using SQL in the job. And then when I gave them a pretty basic SQL interview question, they completely missed it. And I could tell that this guy did not know what he was talking about. Other than that, he was a really good candidate, but I could just tell that he was lying about his SQL experience. And we really needed someone who was good at SQL in that position. And so we obviously did not hire him. The second reason you should not lie on your resume is that employers remember the skills that you have on your resume. So if you put SSIS on your resume and all of a sudden, for whatever reason, they need somebody who knows how to use that and they're going to call on you and say, hey, we remember that you have this on your resume. Can you help us out with this problem that we're having? And it would be extremely awkward to say, no, I actually just put that on my resume to get hired. I don't actually know how to use it. Or you could be lying about a job entirely and they remember that you have experience in that position and they call on you hoping to get your knowledge in that area, but you really don't know anything that makes it extremely awkward. In a previous job that I worked for a QCDR, it was a qualified clinical data registry and it was a great position. I learned a ton. And then when I got the job that I had now, uh, I didn't really use any of the skills that I learned in that job or really the domain knowledge that I learned in that job. But then about six months into my job, they called on me and said, hey, we remember that you used to work at a QCDR. We have an issue that we think you'd be very helpful in. Can you help us? And so I'm really glad that I didn't lie on my resume because I did end up helping them. And I think that set a really good impression for my current job. Number three is employers might do an employee verification check. And if they do that in the hiring stage, they're probably going to let you go if you're lying about one of your previous jobs. And if you were already hired, they might let you go. And that's the worst case scenario is you get hired and then immediately fired. Number four, and I think this is the most stressful one, is you have to perform to the level of your lies. If you have on your resume that you have three or five years experience in a specific skill, then you are going to have to perform like you have three or five years experience, and that can be extremely stressful. And if you don't live up to what they expect of you, you can definitely be let go for that. When you're honest about your skill level and you get a job, there's definitely a cushion there that you can use to ramp up your skills and get better and better and better instead of promising the world and then completely underperforming. And number five is you can ruin your reputation within a company or even an entire industry. A lot of recruiting agencies and companies talk amongst themselves about specific candidates. And so it's very possible that if you go around lying on your resume and you get caught, that it can ruin your reputation and it can really make it more difficult to get a job down the road. I'm not telling you that you shouldn't lie on your resume. For some people, it really might work out and you might get that dream job and it works out perfectly. I just wanted to present some of the reasons that you shouldn't because there definitely is a downside to lying on your resume. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you like this video, be sure to comment and subscribe below and I'll see you in the next video.